So Polaroid are here celebrating their 80th anniversary, so they're here showcasing uh, some of their heritage products, um, but also enabling people to interact with and engage with some of the much newer products they've got coming onto the market, including some that aren't actually on the market yet. So it's very much a place that people come and interact, because it is a very well-loved brand by lots of people, so it's a great opportunity for them to uh, get closer to their customers and really understand them a little bit better, as well as their, those customers be able to come in and understand what Polaroid and why Polaroid is relevant for them today. Experimental uh, marketing has, uh, is really valuable for brands. I think for uh, Polaroid specifically, it really works because the act of taking a photo is very interactive. Uh, the act of sharing photos is very interactive. It's something we do, which is actually quite a social thing to do. Um, so actually having somewhere where people can come along and interact with those products uh, is really important. Box Park is perfect. Uh, it has that history and heritage of uh, creativity and innovation that, that aligns with, with Polaroid itself as a brand. So from a consumer's point of view, they can come along, understand a bit more about the brand, interact. Uh, the key thing is to be entertained. They want, they want engagement, they want interaction, they want a little bit of fun. Um, and from a brand's perspective, it allows them to take over a, a retail space that actually probably most brands don't get the opportunity to do. So they get to really reflect who they are uh, build brand advocacy, showcase what they do. As part of uh, the campaign, uh, we're extending that campaign and amplification of the campaign is our snap squads. So our snap squads are going out and uh, looking at high footfall areas locally with uh, oversized uh, Polaroid frames, getting people to take photos, which again is generating content, but also those people that uh, take photos in those frames are entered into a competition. So we're driving footfall back into, uh, into this retail space so they can come in, see if they've won a prize, uh, interact with the and uh, engage with the product some more. So we're here in the heart of Soho and we're doing a project where people are able to take part in an important cork experiment to prove once and for all that cork stoppers in wine makes drinking more pleasurable.